Incoming! Hello, good morning, welcome to DDO Wiki Talk with your host Technical Underscore 13, aka Shoemaker. How is everybody today? Doing good, excellent, welcome. Be bringing up the stream in just a second. Let's see here, let's make the splash screen go away. So were you doing the, the Movember thing? Let's see here. Let's see if we get some background music going. Shaving off your stash. I am not bad. Feel free to join me in the Discord. Oh, HTTPS. Wait for that to load up for a second. No reason I can't be making coffee while that loads up. Working on recording the, the audio from 
the Hall of Heroes at some point so that I can play it without having to load the game client. It's supposed to be an application that helps me with that, but I can't run it yet. It requires Visual Studio 2015 and I'm running 2012. Why isn't my game client up yet? Maybe I just can't hear it. I just can't hear it. Okay. Excellent. I don't use OBS. Oh, control O. Audio. Playback. Red speakers. Um, let's see here, what was I going to do? Alrighty. There we go. Oh, Twitch is acting up on me.
Alright, so I think things are starting to come back. Add people to the giveaway here. I write. So at least you can hear me. What else do we have here this morning? Iron hands. All right, let's add it as a new source. There we go, 4 out of 10. Alrighty, so let's actually get started now. We got November going on. I'll take a look at that, updating that. Good stuff. So, actually, we weren't on last week, were we? Good morning, Arty Dragon. Well, I'm going to have to dump that. I have to dump my bots too.
Okay, so did I not lose Twitch? The exploiter crashed on me. Okay, cool. Well, I'm restarting a couple of things right now to clear out some memory issues. Sounds like my coffee is done brewing. Yeah, 14 days worth of recent changes. I need to move my bots to a, a dedicated machine, that's what I really need to do. Which means I need to make some wires. I just haven't had the ambition to make some networking cables to do it. What I'd really like to do is, instead of making networking cables, I'd really like to get a piece of coaxial cable that's long enough to move my, my modem to where I want it. And then I can plug in my dedicated machine and run the bots from there and not have to use those resources on my primary machine. Mornings are hard. Hmm. Me some coffee to help make it better. <sighs> okay, now I got some coffee. Let's see what we got here. Some Reaper redirect, Nyman body, that's a monk thing, green steel, spam, the Movember page where to get open. I worked on count string some more. I don't remember what it does. Talk quest by level. I don't think I'm talking about that anymore. Bane, enhance enchantment, five foot step. There are some really, really spammy looking names, and I, I try to get to give the benefit of the doubt to everybody, even if I probably shouldn't worry about bothering. Okay, here's some DDO stream stuff from last week. Or two weeks ago. Uh, 
October 31st. Oh, it was last week. So I did stream last week. There was a chance that I wasn't going to because we had a huge storm that was knocking out power. That's what it was. Let's see here. We added some clerical domains. I, I, I did manage to finish the domain page. We should take a look at that. Crafting storage. Barovia. Hey, thanks for the follow. Wild West was. Legendary Tempest Spine. There's some discussion there. Puzzle image. Let's take a look at that. Woohoo! Domains. Moved all the content for each domain to its own page. Did some linking. We had improved upon that from there. Slave Pits of the Undercity apparently has a, a trap bonus issue. I don't have the ability to, to look into that right now. Um, some monster changes, some item changes, November updates, discussion on my page about monsters with the same name, possibly different monsters with the same name, such as in cases where there is a monster in both Eberron and the Forgotten Realms and they have the same name. And mostly it appears to be generic monsters, like Drow Warrior, and not named monsters like Eretricos, who do have different graphics in different places. Okay, so Domain, I did manage to go through and Make some updates here so that each each one is its own page, and all of this is pulled in from the pages. You can see it's simply this name, anchor, content. Really simple. Alright, Tempest Spine. I'd like to add the puzzle image that is in the heroic version because there's no reason anyone should have to look at the legendary version for the instant strength numbers needed and then have to go to the heroic vision oh, for help with the puzzle. Hey, Dialot4, thank you for the follow. The formats between the two pages are different are so different that I can't just copy paste it from one to the other and freestyling map pick 3 and puzzle tempest spine got me nothing for my efforts. I've added it somehow. Thanks. Let's take a look here. Ah, okay. It was simply... Hmm. Let's see if we can do it the right way. Using the map pick. Hey, J-Bob. Thanks for watching. Why isn't that working? Let's take a look at template quest for a second. 
Why is map pick three not working? Ah, third map, that's why. Well, that's really stupid, but okay. I know why it's not working. Although I don't agree with it. I'll have to fix that later, I don't like that. I think I actually started working in that at one point, but. Going all right. Let me add you to the giveaway here. J Bob plays. Oh, we haven't saved our list yet. Um, I don't know what the date, what the episode number is. So I'm just going to save it as a date, and I'll I'll fix the episode number later. Um, I haven't seen him talk in chat. I don't see die a lot in chat anywhere. There we go, got that in there. <clears throat> Hello, there you go. Die a lot for. Ah, 16th birthday, huh? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, so there's a discussion here on my talk page. Uh, monsters with the same name, different identities, what it's called. You get him a car yet? Or a truck? Or a helicopter? 
You know, if you play Factorio, you can get him a car. Really, really cheap. Takes eight electric motors and a few other things. Anyway. So, I was updating CRs for some monsters and servants of the underlord overlords, and noticed issues of overlap between those quests and Stormvald's mind. See, that's what a responsible parent does. They give them... They give their child their hand-me-down vehicle, and they go get a new one. It's true. 100% accurate. Uh, why is that not showing up now? Let's see here. Video live stream. Shows me as talking here. Live stream. Huh, that's really weird. Um, hello, the shoe store DDO. Let me see if I switch to the shoe store if that'll work. Can you see me now? Yeah, okay, so I, it works there. Why isn't it working when I'm in the DDO stream, live stream channel? Huh, I have no idea. Shows me offline on DDO stream. Well, it says it should already be hosting. Try refreshing. Twitch is just acting twitchy. Probably. Did I get Artie Dragon? I did not get Artie Dragon. A R T I E D R A G O N. Pop a host there. Already hosting, 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 hosting. Check out the release notes for update 36.6. All right, give me a second. I got to turn down Moobot. Streaming, technical, Mubot dashboard. There you go, you can get to see, oops. Some administrative <sighs> streaming stuff. Skip, commands, command list. Disable release notes. Ah, so you could do Mobro. Close. Let's actually run that command real quick. Mobro. Hmm. Why did Mobro not run? Not because it's turned off. Let's turn it on. Mobro.
I have a different uptime command now. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Mobro, there we go. All right, so uh, the discussion here is same name, different CR, different graphic, possibly different power, same monster manual entry, draw Rizwood, same name, different CR, different graphic, possibly different powers, different monster manual entry, draw warrior. Same name, different CR, same graphic, no monster manual en entry, Gyrolith in the ruins of Giant Hold. These differences cause problems for the CR extractor on quest. One solution would be to split the entry, something like Drow Warrior, disambiguate, blah, blah, blah. I think a single page is sufficient. Just add multiple sections to the page if there are multiple monster entities with the same name in different locations. As long as the entities are indeed different and not the same in multiple places, CRs don't belong in H notes. They belong in the CR section. If it's actually two different monsters, then it should be indicated as such by creating different sections using different monsters templates with different CR sections. Uh, since there was a CR for Heroic Hard that was in line with Heroic Normal and Heroic Elite, I assume, like has happened many times before, that it was meant to be EH for CR. I'm also thinking about redoing Monster Template to allow multiple CR values based on quest level. I'm guessing there is a formula, but I've not had time to work it out yet. What would you consider two different monsters? Obviously, Drow Warrior is the same as for Spinner of Shadows. But what about same CR, different graphic? Same CR, different graphic would be probably the same monster. Same in name only. Um, if it's got a different monster manual entry, it's probably a different monster. DDO does have a single instance of each monster, although there might be naming overlaps. I'll pop on over to Discord and, and discuss. Um, anybody's welcome to have, put some feedback on my talk page. And I believe that brings us to Movember. Okay, so we got our Movember page still. Since last week, we've added three new, three new Movember team members. Um, we're up to $730 total. I know that Cordovan has set a $3,000 team goal. I personally have a $500 goal. Cordovan has a $3,000 goal, a 2,000 personal goal, 3,000 team goal. If you wish to donate, um, note that Visa Checkout will match your donation up to $25 for each different team that you donate to. Or, I don't know exactly how that works, but they'll, they'll match up to $25. I don't know if it's per per member or what, but... And they have a 400000 cap, I believe they said it as. So, you go through and give everybody $5 or whatever. You could donate to the team directly and skip donating to a specific person's goal. Um... A little bit of history of, of the DDO, MoBro history. Uh, Turbine SSG has participated since 2012, although no Bob has um, participated much longer. Um, I think he's like a 10-year MoBro or something like that. Um, since 2000, I have information from 2013. I don't have the 2012. I couldn't find it in the forums. If you find it, feel free to um, get me that information. A link to the um, to the thread would be awesome. Um, we team DDO. Um, it's been team powered mustaches, team turbine DDO, and team DDO over the years. Um, 2510, 
Team DDO raised 5571 so far up to 730 this year. A grand total of $15,588 raised by Team DDO. Go, go, Team DDO! That's going to be my, um, my mantra for, for the month. And you can, each one of these is the, the link to the forum thread where Cordovan announces it. So this year's forum thread is, um, hello everyone, welcome to November 2017. This is the fifth year that I've raised m money publicly for men's health through the Movember Foundation and the Dungeons & Dragons online community. Similar to previous years, I will be offering some nominal incentives to DDO peeps who wish to donate at least a few bucks each year. I am encouraged to continue this effort through private and public messages from you. I hear about these cancers have impacted the lives of loved ones, family members, even yourself. I found the Mem Movember Foundation to be quite transparent. Each one of those is actually so governance and about money in detailing how this money is spent, annual report. I have been proud to see how us D&D &D folks can get our name out there on the national stage. I hope you are willing to donate this year, but I'm also hoping to see some of you join Team DDO. Jerry's donation page, Team DDO. Team DDO is open to everybody. If you're taking part in November, consider joining the team. We'd love to have you join. The best gimmick of November is us participating dudes shave our faces for November 1st and then grow a mustache for the month to call awareness to men's health issue and raise money for the campaign. Ladies and folks who, for every reason, don't grow facial hair can participate as well, either by just raising money or taking part in the MOVE program. Let's face it, the shaving quarter van isn't winning any beauty prizes, but hey, it's all good. It's a mere month and well worth it. If you donate at least $2, you will be entered into the various drawings that are unlocked by Team DDO reaching certain milestones. If you donate to me or another Team DDO member, it counts. There's one important thing though. Movember d doesn't really provide me with enough information to match your donation name to a forum DDO community name, so if you donate and want to get a prize, please fill out this and PM it to me through the forums here. Um, you could probably send it to them via a PM in any social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, I'm sure he's not, you know, going to say it has to be through the forums. I'm, Quarter Van's pretty good about that. So the name you use making the donation, forum name or Twitter handle, etc., character name to receive prizes, and server characters are on. Without further ado, here are the incentives. The goal is to raise, it's actually set for 3000 this year, even though we put in 2000 you go over here, Bob, um, no Bob is a 10-year Mobro. Uh, let's go to Team DDO. So yeah, target for Team DDO is actually 3,000, even though Quarter Van wrote 2,000 in there. He'll probably edit it later once I point it out to him. Um, group incentives, if we hit... We've already hit 500, so 10 500 DDO points will be randomly distributed to the people who donate at least $2 to the fundraising effort. If we hit the $1,000 mark, 10 picks from the community loot list will be randomly sent to anybody who donates at least $2. If we hit the $1,500 mark, 10 more 500 DDO point codes will be randomly distributed. If we hit the 2000 mark, 10 more picks from the community loot list for $2 plus donors. Individual incentives, if you personally donate $10, and it is cumulative, if you want to do f five this week and five next week or whatever, um, it, it adds up, it does add up, so you let them know who the names are, so. And it also is cumulative in the other faction that if you donate 30, you get 10, 20, and 30. Um... So it doesn't have to be in one batch, and they do add up. So it's whatever tier you hit and down. So each tier, so it's $10. is form title of your choice within the community guidelines. PM me with your desired choice. If you already have a custom title, I can add another. So $20 is form title of your choice and custom forum avatar. Um, $30 is forum title of your choice, custom forum avatar, and personal picks from the community loot list sent to two characters of, your, of yours on whatever servers you want. And if you hit the $100, 
If you donate $100 personally, you will get a forum title of your choice, a custom forum avatar, personal picks from the community loot list on two characters, and he will host an event on your guild's airship or run with you and friends in-game. And while there are certain rules, Quarter Van cannot break, things that hurt the game world, giving out name loot, leveling people up, etc., I will be able to drop some items from the community loot list, spawn a few things, and do a few giveaways for the guild. I will, of course, be open to any Q&A as well. And as I noted, all incentives are cumulative. And Quarter Van. So that's how November is working. Yeah, so Lagan is is one of the team members that I don't have a name for. Probably James or James. So in this thread, I'd almost forgotten about this. I, I I had forgotten about this. In this thread, um, CDBD3RD noted that under A on the list for the community loot list on the wiki, because Cordovan links to the wiki for the list of items, um, there is a Alderaan Diagnostics Items Consistency pages using Template Companion Certificate. This link goes to a list of pets. Are these extra pets on the menu for the event? And he said, no, I'm not sure what that's about. Looks like a bad edit or something. So we got down here. And it's a maintenance category that was created, used by another admin last year for some work they were doing. I've removed the listing. So that's been cleaned up. What other comments have been here in this thread? Count me in. Happy, happy to help again this year. So I'm guessing he, 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 he's the other James. Although I don't know which is which. What is the community loot list? I will show you that in just a moment. It's actually, I already pulled it up. Alrighty, so that's that. Community loot list. There's a link to the community loot list. You can see that there's a battle-worn shield of Seer, Eternal Titan Wand, Hand Sanitizer, Invisible Mini Stalker, Lousy Chain Docent, Lousy Chain Shirt, Lucky Hat, Merry Mimic, Mini Mimic, Robe of Trivial Knowledge, Scary Festival Masks, Scepter of Sibiris, Shen's Robe, Snowy Owlbear, Spooky Festival Mask, Tainted Helm of Mystery, Travul's Cookery, Wayfinder Scepter, Winter Wolf Putt, and Yellow Gelatinous Cubelet. Now, I wonder if I can do anything with this. Does that work? That's not the right name. Maybe it's capital C, lowercase i. I can never remember. There's too many templates to remember them all. Lowercase i, okay. Okay, so that gets all of the items. Although it won't get the pets. Uh, 
I wonder if I can do something about that. Well, first they needed me move to the item item namespace. Move, 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 move. Item. There, now they're all consistent there. This one didn't get moved somehow. We missed this one. Community that was bits.
There we go. So now you can see what's on it. Lucky hat. Why is that not showing anything? Doesn't have any enhancements. It's mostly cosmetic. Ten. Ten lucky people. There we go. It should expressly say that there are none. Really, it's not going to pull that? Huh. Oh, right. Never mind. Purge it. There we go. None. Oh, they use no visible en enchantments on those. Hmm, they should be consistent. I like that better, actually. There we go. So there's a few items that are unbound, and then there's some that are bound to character. Oh, and some of these actually have a minimum level. Hey, thanks for the follow, Zylo the Wiz. Make sure that you say hi in chat so we can enter you in the drawing. <clears throat> and that's our November stuff. So, now we're going to figure out what to work on today. Do, do 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 Hello? I don't get it. I do not get it at all.
Why is it not working? That is really, really weird. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I had to, like, poke at it. Oh, but... Well... Alright, there we go. I got it fixed. Now you can see when I talk. In Discord. And you can see if somebody else talks in Discord. Excellent. Alright, so... Hey! There we go. A couple more people added. I think that actually hits our, our number 10. Nope, it gets us to 9. X-I-L-O. The Wiz. And, oh lord, have mercy. Save 9 of 10. We need one more people to do the giveaway at the end of the stream in an hour. Alright, excellent. Community loot list items... and items. Hello in chat. There you go. That's all you needed to say. U-L-T-Z underscore. Yay! We've hit 10. We'll do the giveaway at the end of the stream. There you go. Not a problem. We can add you as well. We're not limited to 10. We just needed to have at least 10 to do a giveaway. There we go. Add attendee. Be doing the giveaway in about 55 minutes. 50 minutes. All the things. Yay. No, um, this is a wiki editing stream where we go through and we make edits to DDO Wiki. I am always taking suggestions, so if you have suggestions of things that you would like to see, let me know. All right, let's take a look at our special pages and see if there are any broken redirects or things that we need to work on. Ooh, there's a double redirect. Okay, we'll take care of that. Invisible mini stalker certificate. Ah, certificate goes to mini stalker goes to... Okay, mini stalker. Fixed. That takes care of that. Okay, what else do we have here? One wanted template. Oh, I don't really want to work on that right now. Wanted categories. Let's take a look at that one. Clerical domains. Weapon, electric effects, not clicky items, Night Revels loot, great clubs. Well, I can take care of that. And that, real easy.
Armor piercing we can take care of real easy. Not sure what to do with the other ones. Okay, we got great clubs. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we got great clubs, level 8. Good. Armor piercing, 5%. Um, I don't remember actually how I did the armor piercing items. I should look at that one. That one's a tricky one because it's inconsistent. Okay, so I have it right, it's just wrap it with the named items category. I should be doing that more often, actually. Eight percent items. All right, so if I actually go to category items.
Why are these in the raw items category? These things shouldn't be in raw items. Because there's information missing that should be there. What piece of information is missing consistently in all of them? Material. They're all missing material. I'm going to go with unknown material on all of them. I should take it out of the raw items category. And it appears to be the issue. There we go. Oh, right. I never did start those back up. All right, so unknown material items. Um, I'm hoping I get my um, 
response from November pretty soon about accessing their API in order to be doing bot updates to the wiki page and on Discord for November stuff. The glowing circuit's a cosmetic helm. It can't be a cosmetic helm if it's got concentration on it, can it? I thought cosmetics didn't have any stats on them. And you get it in the DDO store. So, let me see if I can load up the game client. Does it really go in the cosmetic headwear? Party hat is cosmetic. And it does have a clicky. It's possible. But I'm going to see if I can get a screenshot of it. It's only concentration 5, so maybe. What is a clicky? A clicky is a temporary buff that you have to click on to activate. Let's see, best way to describe it. Kind of. Nope. Okay. I take the bots down. They're lagging out my system again. There we go. Um, if I was going to buy one, I'd buy it on Kenneth. I'm probably going to have to buy it in order to see what it is. So I'll buy one on Kenneth. And it will be my low-level concentration hat, if that's the case. Yes, Kenneth is my primary server as well. I would get it on Shoemaker, who is my main. Who 
was apparently in Dolera's graveyard. A. DDO Chronicle, issue 257. DDO bonus days through November 5th is already over. Hack and Stash, get 20% off Slayer Boost, Loot Boost, Treasure Hunt Elixirs, Shared Storage through November 9th. So you got a couple days left on that. And, ooh, that's right. This week's freebie of the week is Follow Me for Green Big B's Guiding Hand X5. <laughs> Green hands, woo. All right, so I mean for the bots to finish shutting down. Let's see if I can speed it up. Okay, so Node should be just about done shutting down. Only a couple instances left. Alright. Okay, so we got that. I've got this. Let's bring this back over here. All right, so to use your free free code of the week, you hit redeem code. You paste in the code and hit apply. That's really annoying me. So you get a notice up here that says in store purchase successful. So. Come on. Finish shutting down.
Return to store. All right, that's enough of that. Kill the nodes, kill the nodes, kill the nodes, thank you. Okay, so. What was the item I was looking for? That's that. Shrink this a second, shrink this a second, shrink this a second. So it's glowing circlet. So it costs 250 turbine points. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Inventory error. All inventory slots are full. Unredeemed coupons. You have unredeemed purchases from the ZDO store waiting to be delivered to your character. I couldn't read all of it. Oh, it took my DDO points. Let's see if I have my inventory. So I took my points, but it didn't give me my circlet. Well, that's not good. Ah, okay, so unredeemed coupons. Next time you log in with a character. Or you can click on it, it'll make it go now. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so here is my glowing circlet. It's called Concentrate Harder. We'll do a control P for a screenshot of that. Bound to account so I can give it to a different character. And it is a clicky. Take a screenshot of that. Alrighty. So it's purple, blue, black, red. Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty, so. Uh, no, I don't want to log out. I want to quit. People looking for ham and broccoli. 
where Night Rebels is supposed to be. All right, so now let's go to documents, screenshots. Open with paint. Select. I'm actually going to even zoom in a little bit. Um. Well, let's see here. So if we grab from here to here, that's 432. I don't need that big. Let's go from here to here. Don't save changes. Paste. Photo bombed me, huh? Save as PNG. Glowing circlet. Dot PNG. Save. Close, close. Edit. Scroll down. And that should actually be moved. It should be glowing circlet shown. Page shown um, TDO naming policy. File naming. Tag that for deletion. Excuse me. Show preview. 420 PX. Choose file. Documents. Dungeons and Dragons. Glowing circlet. PNG. Licensing. Screenshot.
fair use. Any warnings? Upload. There we go. Show preview. One co copper piece. No weight, cosmetic headwear, no durability, material. There is no material, hardness, none, min level, one, bound to account on acquire, DDO store, um, how much was that, 195 DDO points? I don't remember, I'll have to look. Um... This shimmering cirque that appears to change colors as you look at it. So preview. It's actually not concentration five. It's actually a clicky. So it's clicky. Concentrate harder. One. Competence. Vault. Hello there. Welcome. Doing the giveaway shortly. Spell name, caster level. What's the caster level? Uh, caster level one, I'm, I'm assuming. One charges. Clicky items. Glowing circlets fixed. Thick skin I think I can fix. Just not now. While I'm streaming it has a really hard time connecting to the game. Alright. 
so we do have a category clicky items apparently. So let's go to special pages real quick and do wanted categories. We got clicky items, clicky, clicky, clicky. Those are all clicky items. Named items category. No include category clicky items. No results, no results, no results. I do have this one. So why do I get no results on these? Because it's using eternal wand instead of named item. Does named item do? Eternal wand? Probably not. Yeah, it doesn't do a turn of wand. which should be incorporated into it, but it hasn't been yet. Do we have a named one template? If I do this, and I change this on Downsing Rod to named item wand, will it work? No, not really. Most of it's there, but the icon, spell, cast a level charge, recharge stuff doesn't work.
We'll do it later. That should take us down a little bit. Good. There you go. Alrighty. I think we got some stuff done today. Wait, why? Saying it's 10.53. Ooh, almost 3,000 edits. I should put something in there that says, hey, Dodo, you logged into the wrong account. Okay. Anyway. So, make sure to check out mobro.co slash technical13 if you're interested in contributing to that cause. Join the team. Go, go, Team DDO. Um, let's do our drawing for the giveaway. Rolling for the winner in... 20 seconds, so get your name in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zylo the Wiz.
There we go. And that's going to wrap up our stream for today. I'm glad everybody could join me. Don't be late. I did the drawing a couple minutes early. I didn't even wait. All right, so we've made some changes today. Uploaded a file. Concentrate harder. We've got more to upload for that. Got to crop that one out. Some stuff to delete for later. Have a great week, everybody.